Good morning, Saints. Gabriel here. Just want to say thank you for uh, the brothers that said happy birthday yesterday. It was uh, well received. And I um, just want to uh, thank you for that. You know, I'm not the best uh, at keeping up with people's birthdays, including my own. So it kind of just came up on me. And uh, it's not really a day I celebrate for myself. <clears throat> uh, the Lord just convicted me years ago. Uh, to stop celebrating it all together and then uh, turn 50 um, yesterday, big 5 -oh. And the uh, Lord's just been blessing me nonstop, so I just wanted to give him all, all thanks, praise, glory, and honor. Uh, the more we walk in obedience, which is not of our own, but of the will of God, is Christ in us, that uh, teaches us how to love, have that love of Christ, the more that you understand this that it's not in our own you know power that we can even uh, know what the will of God is walk in his obedience or even desire to because apart from him our flesh uh, will will take us quickly away from from the will of God but as, as I'm growing in this we're all growing in this and you know, I got a long way to go myself um, the Lord's just revealing a lot uh, lately uh, in the part of love loving like Christ loves loving one another Loving God, uh, the way the great first commandment, and loving one another as ourselves, loving one another as Christ loves us. <clears throat> By this you will know that they will know that we are his disciples. Um, so I'm here, I wasn't planning on being where I'm at right now. I'll show you guys here in a little bit, uh, sharing what the Lord put on me to do. Uh, as we're sensitive to the Spirit, and whatever the Spirit of God tells us to do, we obey, because it's his will. That we uh, we do such we do such things by faith. Abraham was considered righteousness. His faith led to the works of God, and Abraham obeyed when God called him out, Abram. Uh, and that's how we have to be. We just have to live by faith, not by sight. So here, I'm gonna try flipping the camera. Show you where kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> Gas stations are awesome places, by the way, to reach people, even if it's, um, <clears throat> you know, keep sharing uh, what the Lord's blessed me to have these car magnets that do convict. I had these yesterday when I went to downtown Dallas to evangelize for the good news. Um, this is Corporate Drive, near 35. 35 north south here in, in Texas. Um, I don't know if it goes all the way down to the, uh, the ocean. I don't know how far it goes down, but it goes north south to the Texas. It's right over that crest right there. Apartment complex here, which I'm going to be headed to here in a little bit. <clears throat> but the Lord just uh, led me to go here. So I was praying, asking the Lord after. Uh, being in Bible study with another brother over the phone this morning, Brother Raymond. We, uh, the Spirit just said, uh, turn around and go here, which I did. And I'm sharing this uh, with you to encourage you in the Lord as I need encouragement. We, we encourage one another. Encourage one another in the world. Uh, provoke one another uh, to outdo one another in love. Right? So this is love. Sharing the good news, gospel, however it might be. It might be preaching. It might be preaching. Uh, it might speak, be speaking. Right now. God bless you, Joe. I love you, brother Joe. I hope to see you soon, brother. First for you and your family. Uh, just sharing uh, the love of Christ, the good news, the hope, um, and, and the full counsel, the whole counsel. It's not really that complicated. You don't need to be a Bible scholar, have degrees, have all this knowledge of the Bible to share the share the good news. And the reason I say is because none of the apostles had degrees. <laughs> none of the apostles had degrees. They had the only degree that mattered, and that's Jesus Christ. Do you have Do you have Jesus Christ? Do you know him? So 
all at home. Or you live in foreign. So you're all in all. So I'm showing what the Lord uh, sharing with you all. Kind of the way the Spirit operates. The God will have you do things you weren't really planning on doing. Ain't that right, though? You pray, and the next thing you know, you might have called somebody, you hadn't talked to forever. That brother or sister needed the word that the Lord gave you to give them right at that time. Um, what the Lord's led me to do is come back in this apartment complex. And wonderful thing. Hand out these cards. Lord knows. People might just throw it away, get angry, I don't know. Some people might uh might have needed whatever this was for them, for the Lord. Could that uh, the folks receive it as uh, good news, encouragement in, in Christ, even if they don't believe, say they don't believe. Uh, maybe maybe they, they believe, but they're not walking in faith, struggling with sin. If they've chosen sin instead of Jesus themselves, but uh, this is just one more example of, of ways where you can share the gospel and it doesn't have to be in people's faces you know i know for most people that's intimidating the idea of you know maybe they're gonna hurt me or whatever it is you want to get in a fight or get in trouble with the law or... man just do something it's, it's kind of the point of it <clears throat> handing out tracks um reach out to me if you don't have tracks be happy to give you some of the tracks i have worth busting to get Repentance is hand in hand with that belief. Uh, the belief in who Christ is uh, should compel us to understand his sacrifice for us and uh, the free mercy and grace that's been sitting there waiting for us all along. And it's still even available to us if you are in the faith and maybe you've stumbled into sin. You're struggling with temptations. Uh, do not think anything strange of it. This is the walk of faith that we believe that Christ is able to free us from all temptations. To, to believe. Do we believe this? God bless you. Uh, for me. This brings me joy, just being in the will of God. To be able to hand out these tracks is, is you know, when you're in the will of God, <clears throat> there's no other 
As the song goes, place I would rather be. <laughs> no other place I would rather be than with Jesus, King Jesus. Because it's the fullness of joy. When you're in the presence of the Lord, it's the fullness of joy. God bless you, Elijah. Showing uh, the Lord let me come to this apartment complex. It's just another form of evangelism. This is evangelism. And everyone who's Christian, we are commanded to evangelize and share the gospel. See the devil? You know, I ain't going to give him all the credit of our flesh. we got to get past our flesh. He's going to come up against the will of God in our lives. <clears throat> and the way that the way the devil get, gets involved is he's just kind of like a drug dealer. He ain't, he ain't putting that needle in your arm. He ain't putting that crack pipe in your mouth. But he's, he's there to sell it for you. Tempt you with uh, all his lies. But he's sin. He knows our flesh is weak. That's why he's attacking people in our weak spots. But praise be to God that in our weakness, his power is perfected. Amen. See how God flips it? <laughs> He never loses. He made us. He made that little devil. He made us. He knows. He knows exactly how we operate. He knows. He knows how he engineered you, beloved. He knows how he engineered me in ways we don't even comprehend. We will one day. See, right now we we look in a mirror. It's a partial image. We don't, we don't know the fullness of Christ. Dimly lit. We look in the mirror. Dimly lit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Elijah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's so powerful. The track ministries. Yeah. It is powerful. You just don't know. It's the word of God, you know. It's the love of God, more importantly. It's the fear of God. Amen. That will compel people, draw people in into that relationship with our Lord. And now you're doing His works. I'm busy about His business. We got, we got some people like Halloween here. It's all right. My Lord can't cure. Cassilius. Cassilius. You know, I see a lot of folks get kind of caught up with it. With the uh, Halloween or whatever it is. Drag queens, whatever it is. And uh, kind of come at it in their flesh. You know, instead of the spirit. We got to... Oh man, Lord, Lord chastised me last year for this. I was starting to just kind of preach a condemning message, and <clears throat> uh, he took the utterance out of my mouth for six weeks. <laughs> I'd been going out there every day, every other day, and silence. Boom! Took the utterance out. He chastised me. He said, "Gabriel, you're um, you ain't preaching my words." Love you, too, brother. We're gonna meet someday. Lord willing. Lord willing. Powerful testimony, brother. Powerful. This generation is going to need those testimonies more and more. Amen. God wins. God wins. Um, but I was preaching just kind of condemnation, yelling, angry. You know, young. Little babies just learning how to preach last year. Anyhow, my big fat thumb hit the button on this phone. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I uh, just wanted to share this to encourage uh, a lot of you. I don't, I don't, I don't only have males on my Facebook um, for a reason. Because I'm weak. I'm weak in the flesh, and my former self was. Was a very weak fornicator. Now I'm married now to a godly woman. Praise the Lord. 
going on uh, seven years. You know, lots of lumps and bumps and bruises on my thick head. And one of them was the Lord convicted me a couple years back to really honor her, his daughter, love her. And for me, I'm not saying this is for everybody, but for me that included really just garden who who I kind of let into my, my circle, including social media. Uh, a lot of times we don't have to have the battle. Amen. A lot of times we don't have to have the, the battle royale with ourselves. The biggest enemies ourselves. And uh, <clears throat> it says pray without ceasing. This time of year is a good time for these tracks too. Time of year is um, that people are celebrating Halloween, whatever your opinion of Halloween is. It's not honoring God in any way, shape, or form. But, anyways, this is where the Lord led me to stop at here briefly. Up here in Louisville, at this apartment complex to hand out tracks. Uh, Jesus Christ, gospel Christ. I pray that you are doing well today. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day of salvation. Thank you, Jesus. There is no temptation. There is no temptation to overtake you. It's not common to man. Christ tempted in every way. Sin never sinned. Anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I don't know how big this apartment complex is, but that's what we're going to be doing. So God bless you. Keep me in prayers, beloved. Keep you in prayers. Uh, don't grow weary. Be encouraged in the Lord. Uh, whatever the whatever the pushback is from the flesh or the enemy, whatever it is, it's coming against God. You have the power, brother, to be victorious in the Lord. You have the power. For though we walk in the flesh, we're still in this flesh. We, we do not war according to the flesh, for our weapons are not carnal. Praise the Lord, but mighty through God to destroying a strong, to pulling down a stronghold. The pulling down of strongholds, the stronghold of lust, the stronghold of pride, the stronghold of uh, whatever it is. It's coming against you. You have power in God to pull it down. To let it over yourself. Pray for others that might be under strongholds. Uh, casting down imaginations and everything that seeks to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Christ's thoughts were holy. And we have access to Christ. You hear me? You have access to, and this is, this is a hard one. This is a hard one for me. It's a hard one for most people to, oh, I can't control my thoughts. I just have these thoughts, I can't help it. You're right, you can't help it, but Jesus can. Jesus can carry you from the, having those nasty thoughts. See, at the time that your thoughts start wandering off in the, in the areas that doesn't belong, your mind doesn't belong, you got to love God with your mind, too. He says, all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. All right? So when you pray, you start praying, Lord, I want to have just holy thoughts. 100% of the time, just holy thoughts, Lord. Doesn't mean you're not going to be tempted. You might be tempted to lose your temper. You might be tempted to, to think something negative or it's a lie against somebody or whatever it is. You pray. You pray. And the Lord will provide the way of escape. So you see, it's that, it's that interchange. It's that interchange between us and God through prayer. 
How you doing, sir? You have a good day? Uh, Can I hand you a card? What is this? It's gospel, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, Jesus. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. Okay, okay. Remember, okay. Uh, he provides the way of escape every time. Uh, and then he gets the glory. So we, we submit. When we pray, we submit, we're submitting to the will of God. We're, we're showing up for the fight. If you ain't praying, you ain't, you ain't even in the fight. If we ain't praying, we're not even in the fight. We're not ready. That devil is going to have his way. That flesh is going to is going to is going to betray you and betray us. But we got to be constantly in prayer, constantly in the Word, constantly in the Spirit. For ears that hear, For ears that hear, be encouraged in the Lord. I'm going to be handing out these tracks. I just want to give this short update, message to encourage you today in the Lord. Uh, if you go out there tonight. Uh, pray for everybody. Uh, pray in the Spirit, because we don't know how to pray. The, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with groanings too deep, beloved. Uh, the Holy Spirit will have you praying for people you never met. The Holy Spirit will have you praying for people that might be in other states, other parts of the world, other parts of the country. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. Not self-righteous man, a righteous man. How are we righteous? By the righteous one, Christ Jesus, Christ in you. The kingdom of heaven is in you. you got to believe this. This is faith. If I pray against any unbelief. If you're doubting this, uh, I pray against that, that unbelief. You have to believe in Jesus is the one. His finished works at the cross. He is the one abiding in you. He is the one who is able. We, we can't do nothing apart from him. Jesus Christ himself said, I can do nothing apart from my father. He and the father are one. We are one with him, his body. He is the Godhead. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you, brothers. Man, what a blessing. I'm still here uh, at the apartment complex. This ended up being a pretty a pretty large complex. So I'm getting kind of a workout here. Praise the Lord. While I'm doing this, <clears throat> I'm going to try on my phone to read the Bible. Hopefully this last. Anyways, the parable of the wedding banquet came to mind. Uh, in Luke 14. Uh, where this master planned a, a large wedding banquet <clears throat> and uh, you know a lot of people made excuses why they couldn't attend and he sent his servants to go out to the highways the hedges the byways to compel them to come in so uh, brother Brian Cranford had a good word on this recently uh, about big or small uh, in terms of do you do you have to be going and preaching on a bullhorn at these big events all the time? Or are you seeking? Are you truly seeking a lot of sheep? I think about it. I'm not, I'm not condemning nobody, judging nobody, preaching this, preaching the gospel. I've had to walk through this myself. The preaching is not just uh, raising your voice in every form of preaching. It's part of evangelism. But where's your heart at? And um, God knows, I don't know, just a man. <clears throat> Are you preaching on a pretense of your own vanity, your own self-promotion? Or are you truly seeking the lost, the ones that need to hear the gospel, see the gospel message? Are you, is God using you to go after that one lost sheep, leave the 99 behind? Go after that last, that lost sheep. <clears throat> so between, between the last video and this one, I ran into a young man. Uh, I think his name was Andres. Uh, kind of just standing outside. Uh, you know, kind of a spirit of heaviness about him. I'm not sure what he was doing. He had some cash in his hand. Talked to him a little bit. And... and uh, Venezuela. He might need to speak English. And praise be to God that God, uh, Blessed me to be able to speak Spanish. Thank you to my parents from Colombia. So he's from Venezuela. My parents are from the next door neighbor. 
I was able to evangelize to him the gospel because he believes in Christ. He's like most people, they've gone to church here and there, but he's not really following Christ. He's seeking the Lord, things of the Lord. And, um, it's Jesus. How you doing, sir? Can I hand you a card? You have a good day. God bless you. Good day, sir. Oh. Being about our father's business uh, requires us to have our father uh, the heart of Christ. You can't you can't be about God's business if you're not you can't be in the will of God unless you have the heart of Christ in you. And he puts that heart in you. He takes that stony heart out of us. And he puts in a heart of flesh, a living heart. Now, now we care about what he cares about. Now we speak like he speaks. We do like he does. We, we start looking like little Christ. Start looking more and more like him. Out of love. No, no pretense. Maybe some, some people out there are doing a pretense. Don't, don't pay no mind. You're getting wrapped up with pointing out other people's faults. Get to know them. Especially on social media. I see social media is one of the biggest traps that, to my shame, I've fallen into in the past. I myself have fallen into this trap in the flesh. Out of a misdirected zeal. You want to be the the arbiter of uh, what the word says. You got the right understanding and before you know it, you stumble into sin. I've been guilty of this. I repented of it. I repent of it. Lord willing, we'll never go back to it. Ever again. Maybe that's you. Maybe you feel like you're the corrector. You gotta correct everybody. You gotta correct everybody with the, the doctrine. You got the superior understanding, superior knowledge. But, uh, what does Paul say in 1 Corinthians 8? I'm talking about food. I'm talking about uh, the laws related to food, Levitical uh, hash root. And uh, not eating food sacrificed onto idols, which would have been a very, 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 very basic thing for most Jews to know. There would be no confusion about this. What did Paul say? How you doing, my man? God bless you. Mm -hmm. You have a good day? Oh, yes. Hey, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, it was good. You wanna, can I hand you um, a card? Good. Just about the gospel. Jesus oh, Christ. praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Bless you. What's your name? Uh, Vincent. Vincent? I'll mm -hmm. keep my prayers, bro. Okay. Uh, thank you. You reach sir. out to I got my phone number on there. All right. I'm part of, uh, I'm not part of no church making no money. I just love people, love the Lord, and trying to yeah. get the good news out. Yeah. All right. Well, That's good someone too. gave me the good news one uh, hey. years ago and it changed my life eventually nine, not, nine not immediately too. but eventually <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so i was hard-headed man yeah, yeah me too yeah. very hard but that's okay he's patient with us yeah. amen that, that goodness